very good morning everyone look who's awake today oh you're so cute oh yes you are <laughs> hello everyone and welcome for another workout video with me i hope you guys are all ready for some ballet burn do not laugh there that's right yeah all bent from loving at me from messing it messing it up i've got a feeling i will mess it up because i'm not a ballet dancer now are you and i hope she's not going to be distracting oh you're so cute oh boy you are so cute oh she's so cute all right let's do it oh oh and today we also have abs so yesterday it was no ab day, but we're doing it. No pain, no gain. Let's go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited for it. How excited are you? How? How much? on fans i'm christine bulla oh. coming to you from sunny los angeles this is your ballet burn you do not need to be a former ballerina to do this you're gonna get great toning out of it so let's get started what just kidding there's no kicks off. like that okay let's get started though show off. ballet burn we're gonna start in our first position so basically just take your feet parallel shift back into your heels and then turn your feet out and see where they go they really shouldn't be like a nice wide turn probably like 10 and two o'clock so hands on your hips and we're gonna start with a demi plie but i'm going right to it and see how far down you can go you may have a chair here a counter if you need to but we're gonna do grand plies today so lower and lift you really want to try and keep your shoulders over your hips but we're getting so right far, into so the burn good. if it doesn't feel good on your I knees keep it a little it. higher that's fine lower you can drop it like it's hot right and lift lower and lift I love to incorporate ballet workouts, you know, into my weekly regime because look at a ballerina's body and their strength. I mean, they just have this amazing strength to leap through the air and that's what these workouts are gonna give you as well. So come down now, halfway, we call it a demi-plie. Try and keep the heels down. You're just gonna press back, working through the outer thighs, that little trouble area back here. That's why the ballerinas don't have it. Squeezing through the glutes, core is in. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one. And you're gonna do demi-plie, and then we're gonna work our balance and our inner thighs and our core. It's called releve, you're just gonna lift the heels up. Plie, and lift. Plie, and lift. I like this too, as you know, you know, I think about the aging or ageless body. We wanna work through our ankles, our knees, our hips, our joints. These are the kind of exercises that help to strengthen that and keep us healthy and oh, mobile. Oh, I became a and, lift. and if you're not worried about that, they really give gorgeous legs. Five more. And four, I'm squeezing through my inner thighs, my glutes, squeezing to lift. Two and one. We're gonna go into second position. So you keep the turnout, step the feet a little bit wider, and you're gonna plie and lift. Plie and lift. Get a nice little stretch through the hips. So try not to let the knees pop in, but the toes turn out. You're really gonna press through the thighs, make the work happen all right here as you squeeze up. Yes, it is. Like you're resisting the lift. Chest is over the hips. Try not to let it stick out. I'm gonna lift up and press. Not a squat, it's a plie. And lift for three and two and one. And you're gonna stay nice and low. And we're again, we're gonna press back, back, working through the back, outer hips. And if you'd like to, you can lift both heels as you press for a little extra balance. Four, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, you're gonna pull one leg in, plie, pull the other leg in. So you got that grand plie, and then squeeze to the inner thighs, use the core, you're standing up nice and tall, long waist, and just breathing and enjoying it. You are. Love this workout, because it's one that you can really do anywhere, no props necessary, 
Feels good after jet setting around the world. You get a nice stretch while toning the whole body. Last two each side. And last one. Good, pull in. All right, so this may be new to you. It's third position. So you're gonna wow. take from first, take the foot forward and squeeze it together so it's like your front foot or front heel is aligned with your arch and you're just gonna bring it forward. One, you're already working here. You'll feel it, right? Trying to force or work through that no. turnout and lift up and you're gonna do a demi plie and then you're gonna pull the leg in. And if you wanna advance it, you're gonna pull it up to a passe. So it's either here, pull in, back to a plie, pull in, or it's here to passe. I like a tree pose if you like yoga. And there's a little balance to it. Plie and lift. And I feel this whole core toning. It's like a side mountain climber, but just standing here. And pull. And plie, lift and pull. Two more. Hold the passe, as we call it. And you're gonna take that same foot down behind you. We're gonna plie, and this time you're gonna kick up behind you. I like to take my arms out, helps with balance and it helps me to keep my chest up nice and high. So the work is really coming back from the glute instead of losing it and just kind of bending the body forward and lifting up and lift, little plie bend and up. You can find a focal point to focus on to help with the balance for three and two and one. That leg is behind you, guess what? Other leg should be in front already. We take the same thing, so plie. Yeah. And you can pull in and squeeze if you like, or you can take it into a passe. Another thing here, try not to keep the knee forward. Work through the rotation. And lift. Feel that oblique crunch. Lift. And lift. Heels press down to stretch to the calves too. Really nice calf stretch that you get through plies. Working to, working to lengthen the muscle while you're working. That's what gives that nice long lean shape of a ballerina as well. And press. No. Press. No. For three. No. And two, try and get that foot up nice and high. One, take it behind you, drop the heel down. We plie and lift. Press, lift. Again, you can keep bring the arms out. Three, four. Press down through the supportive leg, nice and long. It's okay if you lose your balance a little bit. You're still working through it. No one's perfect. Not even the pros. One more. And then come down. Nice work. Let's do some floor ballet now. So bring your left leg forward and you're gonna bend it. You can kind of pull it in a little bit. And your other leg, your right leg will be behind you. And then I want you to twist towards that knee a bit. Press down into your fingertips and lift. We call it pretzel and bar classes, but it's like an attitude, a standing attitude. And you're just gonna try and lift the back leg off of the floor. Little pulse up and lower. Lift, and if you need to for right now for flexibility, you can take the body over to the side a bit, but you really wanna feel that back leg and through the back oh. waist, the back obliques. It's really oh, hard area crap. to hit, um, and that's what this oh. does. And then eventually, crap. you know, you work your way to your chest up and even just balancing. So it is the core and the chest doing the work here as the back leg lifts. You're gonna hold it up and you're gonna do a little press. You can flex the back heel and press. So I'm really feeling where the glute attaches to the hamstring, lifting up the booty, keeping it nice and high and tight, working the hamstring, and again, those outer hips. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. Now you're gonna scoop this around, heel touch, get nice core work here, and then reach it around and reach open. Scoop and reach, and scoop. And if you need a little help, oh. you can even put your hand back here. You're still getting the core work. You don't have to reach the leg fully long. You just take it to the attitude, but really try and get this around. Oh my gosh, it's getting those ripped obliques, ripped lower abs, nice and toned. Five more, 
and four, and I love this because it's opening up my hips. You want to add a little bit more. You can add a twist. Last one. Hold, and then switch sides. Oh. You feel that? Oh, it feels so good. All right, so again, you're gonna lift. You can start over here yeah, to do the little lift if you like, or you start to press down, lift the chest, and little lifts up for 10. You might find that one hip feels a little more tight than the other. Just work through it. See how you can create a variation that works for your body today. <sighs> trying to find balance though, trying to work towards that balance on each side. Hold, and then we're gonna do a little press back. Again, you can find the balance. I personally have scoliosis, and so I'm always working just through the tight spots of one side of my body, but the other side is more open, working towards that balance. And that's why I love these kind of exercises that not only build strength, but build the mobility. Good, five more, four, three, two, one. Let's get that ab work, scoop it in, switch it over, and reach it back. And twist, and reach, twist, Full lower body toner here. Five, five more. Ooh. Here's six, and seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lengthen, and then come forward. Awesome job, that's our pretzel. We're gonna come Ooh. now to reverse tabletop for some more inner thigh burn. So, you can pretend like you're laying out at the beach here. Come down to your forearms, and your feet are pressed, uh, knees bent and feet are pressed onto the floor in front of you. First thing you're gonna do is lengthen one leg, kick it out to the side. I like to turn it out a little bit, whatever feels good for you, and then kick it up. So press out and up, out. And it's still turned out a bit when I lift it, so I feel that through the inner thigh, lower. And here too, Work for your core to hold onto this leg so it's not dropping open and you're really feeling it through the inner thigh, not through the joint. And lift. Chest is open. Lower belly is drawn in nice and tight. I love, this is one of my favorite exercises in general for inner thighs. I don't know about you, but I feel the burn already. It's one I can take anywhere and it gives that nice stretch to the hamstring. So whether I've been working at a computer all day, flying around the world, running around the playground with my kid, gives a nice little stretch at the same time. And lift, keep it here. Now we're gonna drop it open and then cross. And drop it open, we're gonna use that full inner thigh to cross oh. and lift the thigh and cross. Low belly is at work here, so I'm really pulling in. Try not to let sit in your shoulder so you're still pressing down. You're working through the upper back here too because there is that control. You're pressing down through the arms for three and two and one. All right, you're about to fully love this one. Probably have never seen it before. So come up onto your hands. You're gonna bend your knee and place your foot behind the other foot. You're gonna press up into a reverse tabletop. Do a little side kick like we were doing, bend it and lower down. Let's start with a couple of those and I'm gonna add on. So press up, kick, Whoa. and lower. So you have the kick, the inner thigh, and a little hamstring curl as you come back down. And kick. Now I'm gonna sneak in a little extra here. So you're gonna lower down, roll back, stretch your leg. Up, kick, roll back, and stretch. Kick, and stretch. If this isn't the perfect vacation, exercise to get a little bit of everything, arms, chest, back, legs, and stretch. I don't know what is. And press, two more. And one more, and stretch. We just have the other side now. Oh. So come on back down, take a break, take a breather. And we're gonna take this leg out, turn it out slightly, over to the side, and up, and side and up, reach, and twist. And as you lift that leg, think of bringing the glutes with you to really pull up and through, through the low belly, and also stretch out through the low back. Stretch it and lengthen it. And lift, 
I wanna hear from you guys, so make sure you reach out. I wanna know what your favorite exercises are, what your favorite workouts are. At Christine Bullock, tag me, I wanna repost you. So we're all motivating each other. Last one. Hold it to the side, little lady kicks, and cross and open. Nice thing about this one is too that you get a stretch to the side of the hip as you cross. You get some ab work here, and reach. Pressing down through the arms, upper back, and reach. Last two. Last one, you ready for some fun? Tuck the foot, place the hands behind you. You lift up to tabletop and you kick. Tuck, lower, kick. Start with five of these and then we'll add on. Three and four and five. You see this adds that instability to the simple kind of like tabletop kick like this, really working through the core. Now we'll kick, add some ab work and stretch. And kick and stretch. Oopsie. And press, lift up through the glute, and then reach. Four more. Roll up, use that core. Lift up through the chest and open as you come up into tabletop. Last one. Get a major stretch here and reach. And then you're gonna take your feet, hip distance, a little wider than hip distance. We're gonna go straight into our core work here, a little wider than the mat. Let's just start with some chest lifts. Lift and lower. And if this doesn't feel good on your low back, you can bend your knees for a little bit more support through the abs. I'm not squeezing my glutes here. I'm using my core, really lengthening out through the front of the body so that I feel the low abs here too as the chest lifts. So instead of like kind of squeezing into it like that, right? I like a nice long body and making the work happen here in my upper abs. We're gonna start with an attitude lift. So you're gonna lift one leg, reach, and then kick it out. And lift and reach. For 10. Little oblique action, action here. Five more. Some inner thighs again. Two, and one, how about the opposite side, and twist, and two. Again, try not to let the hip drop as you do it, so you want the pressure here. These abs are working to stabilize as you reach the leg out. Four more, four, and three, and two, really reach up, and one. Both hands behind your head, knee pull, and you can reach it out to a heel drop or you can go all the way back out with the legs if it feels good on your low back. A Little bit more challenge here. Four and five and six. Two more. And one, lengthen the legs, turn out. You're gonna split kick, beat, beat, Split, beat, beat, and the head and the neck just stays up nice and high. Elbows fairly wide, good, and reach. Stabilize tummy, working through those inner thighs, getting a nice little stretch. You can see the pattern here in a nice ballet workout. Lengthen, stretch, strengthen. Last two, and one, and just beats, and this is it. So beat, oh. and you can lower. And you can lift, because you can. You can do this, and beat, and lower. Don't drop it at the last part of the workout. You can do this, come on, put it in. One more time, and lower, hold it here for five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Oh. Awesome job. Let's take a little stretch to finish off. You can't do a ballet workout with a without a stretch. So you're gonna take your legs in front of you. We're gonna start with a forward fold. Just bring one leg in, and you're gonna forward fold, lengthening the chest, stretch, and if you want, you could take the opposite hand to the foot, do a little twist, 
And then again, forward fold, long spine, roll up, switch legs, inhale, and exhale, stretching through that hamstring. Instead of rounding into it, really try and lengthen through, getting that nice low back stretch. Opposite hand, open up and twist. Reach up and over, lengthen through the spine. And lift, we'll take one little butterfly stretch here. So feet together, lift up. Let's pull the heels close first, do a little forward fold. You can set your intention right now for the rest of the day. Take a nice big breath in, slide the heels away from you, you're gonna get a completely different stretch. Inhale, and then exhale. So it gets a bit more into like the IT band. And roll up. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed your ballet burn. Make sure to post your pictures while you're working out and I can't wait to see them. Bye. That was a burn. My inner thighs are on fire. I, no comments. <laughs> no comments on that one. That was a, a burn. My thighs are gonna be on fire. My abs are already painful. Woo, how do you guys feel? How is yours? Workout. Oh gosh. Sorry, just trying to catch my breath here. Skip. I don't want to post a picture of my workout. It's like embarrassing. I'm definitely going to redo it sometimes. Sometimes. I will reconsider it. So as for the slim down program, we have done our first two week and I'm gonna leave it as that until next week and see on how it's gonna go. So I can't wait to start week two. See, it's locked. I can't do it yet. So very, very exciting. Love doing new things. Um, so just trying to think if we should do that one or not or do we leave it for tomorrow no actually we'll leave that for tomorrow and that for sunday and then that will be perfect and then we've been working out all week perfect timing excellent timing great so since we're gonna do that well let's go to our ab 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 workout and we can get that one in. Where's my app? All right, let's close that. Uh, what's today? I always lose the dates. 21st. 21st. So we've got 13. 13 minutes of workout. And I bet you the plank at the end is going to be 50 six seconds because last time we did 50 50 seconds yeah all right let's go we always start we always start with star jumps i'm gonna oh my thighs Whew. i'll be doing like always 50 reps and then i'll be doing 50 butt kick reps it's up to you if you want to do uh, 30 seconds start jumps, 30 second rest, and then 20 second butt kick. Ready to go. Yes, I am ready to go. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks in three, two, one. Quarante-deux, quarante-trois, quarante-quatre, quarante-cinq, quarante-six, quarante-sept, 
Breathe. Come on, now. Second. Four. Go. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Second. Hey, puppy. She still don't have a name. Please comment down below what name. What should we name her? So, we have 24 mountain climbers. 24. Bicycle, 20. Dead bug. Fourteen. Four, fourteen dead bug. Sixteen reps. Butt bridge, 18. <sighs> See, bringing my butt in. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze. Douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept, dix-huit. Flutter.
Skipping. Skipping. Ooh. One minute of skipping for me. Up to you if you want to join in. Hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty. Oh. Oh. Mountain oopsie. Mountain climbers. Let's go. Twenty two. Twenty two. What was it? Side to side? Bicycle. 18. 18. Bicycle. Let's go. Uh, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Dizzy. Dead bug. Twelve. Twelve dead bugs. Let's kill those bugs. See us. God damn it, I did 14. 14. 14. Sixteen, but bridge. Okay, let's go. Uh, two, three, four, five, Dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, huit, 
swimming around. 30 seconds. I told you it's gonna be 56 seconds of holding a plank. I was all right. Whew. Come on, last 56 Three, seconds. Two, last 56. Exercise, squeeze your butt, squeeze tummy in. We did it, we fudging did it, we did it, Poppy, how oh, Poppy, Poppy. And Lala just abandoned us. Lola, 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 just like that, I abandoned us, oopsie, how do you guys feel, abandoned, I do, by my poor cat, my poor cat has abandoned me, hot boy, sorry, so sad, I'm gonna go cry. Don't ask me what my Rottweiler's name yet. I still don't have a name. And thank you so much for all the suggestions. She's a female and I am looking for something that is cute. Two syllables and cute name. I know. Three, Not asking for much. One. Two syllables, cute, and a female's name. Child pause. Was amazing. Uh, amazing. Feel great. Feel 
good. How do you guys feel? How are you doing? Oh, now, I want you all, since you all finished working out with me, and that you're done, now it is time to comment down below. What should little face be named? What should we name her? What would it be? Come here, little munchkin. Come here, little puppy. Who is in my puppy pot? Oh, come here. People want to say hello to you. People want to say hello to you. What should we name her? No, don't lick. Anyway, but the face. Do not lick the face. I know, I love you too. So what should we name her? Let me know in the comments down below. What should she be named? <laughs> Until next time. Mwah. Have all a beautiful day. Night. From wherever you are. Hope. Boy. Hope oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What should she be named? Let me know in the comments down below. Until tomorrow. Have a great day. Night. From wherever you are. Mwah.